late. It's Javila late. It's Javila late. I'm so glad to be back here. And oh, you still have the same darn set. <laughs> I see the budget quality of the show didn't really improve. You changed the name of the show, but it's still the same set. Uh, you know, I'm very excited about this Four Summers Recon as Javita Lane. You know, I started moving the goalposts. That was what I did with SBA with the EIDL. If viewers remember me from 2020, I moved the goalposts. Now I'm moving goalposts all the time. That's why the Cowboys never win a game. <laughs> Yeah, it's just I'm moving goalposts on a regular basis. Uh, Cowboys 0-20. My goal, uh, go Steelers. <laughs> but, you know, I'm very excited about this Four Simmons Recon Alley. There's so much paperwork. I'm just going to throw it all away. But I love the STC. Uh, the STC, that's the new provision that I'm adding to do by Voda, by uh, Javita Rama. The STC is the scarf tax credit. The scarf tax credit. You know, reoccurring scarfs. Um, I love it. You go to the dealership and you uh, ask, say, I want a scarf. Uh, refund, ta tax refund. I don't want a tax refund. I want a U.S. made scarf. I bought it at the time of purchase. And then it's totally discounted. Uh, unless it's a um, unless it's a Cowboys uh, scarf. I don't want it. But a Steelers scarf, I, I love it. And it it's great. The STC. Uh, Bernie, do it. Bernie, do the STC scarf tax credit credit. Meantime, I'm very excited you brought Blaine 66 back on this channel. I've not seen Blaine 66. I mean, he quit me. Uh, I don't pay anything. <laughs> uh, you know, I was head of SBA. We don't pay anyone. I didn't pay him either. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he quit. Then he went to work for McConnell's office. You remember uh, the videos on, on the channel. He went to work for McConnell's office, and that is where he was last seen. I had seen him in the metaverse. Uh, he ran really quickly. I tried to hit him on my, my scarf, but he wouldn't stop. <laughs> so I'm glad to see him. But then you still had to re revert and return that, that animal back to this channel. He's an animal. He's an absolute animal. Well, he's a cow. Uh, <laughs> Why did you bring back Sir Lloyd? And why do people like Sir Lloyd better than Javita Light? I want to know. I was around first. It was first me. And then it was Blaine Success. And then it was Sir Lloyd. I mean, he's like, you know, he's like, you know, later in the equation. He's, you know, <laughs> can we just go get rid of him? Uh, maybe he can go work, work for uh, Devin Nunes. <laughs> you know, he can be head of, uh, CEO of, uh, <laughs> of a media company with Devin Lewis. Uh, you know, why is Sir Lloyd back? And and why do I always have to open the show? You know, the 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 it's an ensemble show. No, it's I'm the lead. I'm Javita Late. Uh you know it, it, it the show resembles my name, LA Javita Late. It's not it's not Lloyd Late. <laughs> it's not Lane it's not Blaine Late. It's Javita Late on LA Late. See how it sort of matches? It's not loin late or sir late. I mean, you're sir late. I mean, he's not sir late. You're sir late. Uh, and why would I always have to leave the show? The star doesn't leave the show. I'm not the opening act. Why am I always the opening act in the show? Uh, sir, uh, I just think uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the, the suggestion box you have outside the door, uh, the one that you know is next to the uh, next to the uh, uh, advocate to Bernie's box. Uh, I'm gonna put in there. Put Javita late last in the show. Uh, and so that way, viewers respect my place in this role. If they don't, I'm moving your goalposts. <laughs>
wow, it's incredible to have Sir Lloyd back on this channel. I mean, I have not seen him since he last returned from Rome, uh, and he's been roaming ever, then, ever since then. If you do not know who Sir Loin was, or Sir Loin is, he's the cow lobbyist who got all the cow's incredible stimulus in the, four simulus, in the, in the second simulus recon. And guess what? Farmers have money in the four simulus recon, so I know Sir Loin has an opinion about that. Let's welcome Sir Loin finally back to this channel after a long absence. Sir Loin, how are you? Welcome back. Oh, hello, hello. It is good to be back and good to be among my fans. Someone that uh, Joe, Biden, Joe Biden doesn't have. <laughs> How have you been, Sir Loin? Where have you been? I've been. We've all been wondering where you've been. I have been around. And where where was around? In the metaverse. You have been in the metaverse. Why why were you there so long? I got lost. <laughs> You got lost in the metaverse. I couldn't get out. I was in there and I couldn't get out. Sort of like a bad Pacino movie. Wouldn't you bring me in? I can't get out. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> how did you stumble into the metaverse? I mean, just don't, don't just sort of go in there. I was roaming and I just sort of landed in the metaverse. Really? And so, <laughs> You, you, how did you finally find your way out? I took an Uber. <laughs> and so the Uber showed you how to get out of the metaverse. Yes, I finally found my way out of the metaverse. Why didn't you just eat your way out? There's not enough grass in there. It's digital grass. It's not very tasty. <laughs> I know someone's going to ask me. He could have, you know, built his own bridge or, or ate his own way out. Yes, but, you know, it's digital. And so uh, I didn't have those VCR glasses on because they don't fit my face. So it's it's nice to have you back. It's nice to be back. And, you know, I, it's it's very interesting. You still don't have theme music for me. No, we don't. And I'm still not unionized. No, you're not unionized. And you haven't air tagged me. No, I haven't air tagged you either. <laughs> You haven't bought me a meatless taco. I haven't brought you a meatless taco. And you still have teal vases in the set. We still have teal vases in the set. And what is this? I mean, this, the production value is no, not much better since I left. You changed the name of the show and you have her back again. Yeah, Javita Blade is back again. Why is she back again? Well, she asked the same thing about you. Oh, how dare her. <laughs> what she did, she said, why is that animal back? Animal? Who does she think I am? Well, you're a cow. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> so she wondered why you're back. And I guess you're wondering why she's back. Yeah, why is she back? Why can I not have my own show? Viewers have asked and demanded that I have a show. No one really knows who Javita Late is. It's sort of like a, an amorphic thing, sort of like um, Joe Biden's presidency. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting off wrong. We are starting off on a good note, aren't we? Yes, we are. And you know, I am a performing on uh, uh, on uh, the view. I'm performing on American Idol later. So, did you hear that BTS is taking a break? They are. The 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 Korean pop band is taking a vacation. Taking a vacation. Does that mean they're breaking up? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> when you are stuck in the metaverse, what were you? I, I was on vacation. Paid leave. I, I hope it is. <laughs> Have you put it for paid leave for being stuck in the metaverse? Uh, I, I don't know where to apply. Maybe you can show me. I, I will. So how was it in the metaverse? I mean, I really, that's that's what I want to know. How was your experience in the metaverse? It was, uh, it was like going to Mitch's Lobster Fest. <laughs> it was like going to Mitch's Lobster Fest. Yeah, it was just, just you know. Interesting and then boring and then interesting. So where did you go? Where did you go when you were in the metaverse? Uh, I started looking for properties. Oh, really? Oh, to open what? The casino. Oh, the casino in the metaverse? That's fascinating. And so what would the casino do in the metaverse? Uh, whatever it always does. <laughs> you know, sell so ice cream. Yeah. Uh, you know, $12 ice cream. No, it's, you know, supply chain. Now it's it's fourteen ninety nine ice cream. <laughs> It really, it's gone out. Yeah, twelve ninety nine ice cream. That was before Biden came in the presidency. Now it's fourteen ninety nine ice cream. So you think the supply chain is going to permanently ruin the price of Calcina ice cream? It it will. I I don't I don't think it's ever going to come back down. And so, what will the Calcino look like in the metaverse? Um, you know, cow entrance. You walk through my mouth to enter. You walk. We walk through your mouth to enter. Yeah, sort of like the MGM Grand in the eighties. Remember how you walk through a, a an enormous animal to walk into the MGM Grand in Las Vegas? Yeah, and they got rid of it. It was it was bad for uh, tourists. So why are you having people walk through your mouth? Uh, because I have a big ego. <laughs> you have a big ego. So they'll walk through your mouth in the metaverse to walk into the digital casino. I could just see it. I could just, I could just see it. Uh, and and what happens when they walk in there? I immediately hit them up with money. <laughs> you try immediately to have them do something. Yeah, I mean it's the metaverse. I'm trying to make money on this. I'm not trying to you know give away things for free. So. When they walk into the metaverse, they're gonna immediately buy a decentraland coin, mana. No, 
Cow coin. Cow coin. Oh, so there'll be a cow coin currency there. Well, of course. Who do you think? Well, I promote someone else's cow currency? No. I mean, what do, what do you think this is? Hell, like, we don't talk about other currencies. We talk about my currency. <laughs> okay. And so there'll be a lot of grass outside. There will. And uh, it'll be beautiful. And will you be eating the grass? No, it's digital. How can I eat it? <laughs> Don't you know anything about the metaverse, LA? No, I mean, it's this this grass. You can have a digital sirloin eating the grass and just, you know, they walk up to the casino and there's a digital sirloin and you start eating the grasses. No, then I'd have to replace it. <laughs> I, you don't think that's a good idea? No, I mean, you know, uh, if anyone's going to eat the grass, it's going to be me. <laughs> or they could have like a digital version of you eating the grass and then you uneat it and it grows back up. Oh, that's brilliant. Do you do this for a living? <laughs> What else do you suggest for the calcium? I, you know, I, you could have the twelve dollar ice cream stand right when you walk in. Yes, I understand that. And then you could have, um, you could have the the cow tipping contest. Oh, that would be brilliant. And then we have Betty the cow from Beverly Hills. Yeah, the, the Betty the cow from Beverly Hills. You remember her? Yes, of course. The one that has all that that job done on the face. That's why her lips are a little bit bigger. Her kip, lips look a little, a little more like a llama than a cow. <laughs> Can have Betty the Cow greeting viewers the it's when they walk inside. I, I like that. The, the, and what are they going to do in the costume? Uh, lobby, lobby? No, in the lobby. No, are they? What are they going to do in the lobby? Oh, they could be lobbyists. Lobbyists in the lobby? Is that brilliant? No, I think it's bizarre. <laughs> you lobby in the lobby. You're lobbyists in the lobby. What are they going to lobby for? Uh, to give me money. <laughs> Like that's not the purpose of the metaverse. The purpose of the metaverse is not to make you rich. Well, why are they doing it then? <laughs> why is Zuckerberg going the metaverse just as a hobby? Well, <laughs> you have to do it a little bit more discreetly than that. I want to make a lot of money out of this, Ellen. I want to be a tycoon out of the metaverse. I want to walk you in the front door through my mouth, immediately have you lobby for my lobby, and then immediately hit you up a fourteen ninety nine ice cream, which was twelve ninety nine. But you know, I'm blaming it on the on the on the supply chain. I mean that's what that's what all the coffee companies do. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean the coffee companies all raise the price of coffee based upon supply chain. No, they want to get rich on you. <laughs> How many times have you heard the coffee company say, there's a fire in Costa Rica. Your coffee's gonna be more expensive now for ten more years. <laughs> How many times have they done that to you? Uh, yeah, they have that done a lot. But it's 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 brilliant that you're doing a casino in the in the metaverse. Any particular place in the metaverse where that casino will be located? What are you drinking now? No, it's <laughs> I'm not drinking. It's just a beverage. You're drinking now? No, it's it's Sprite. Lord, uh, why are you trying to sell beverages in the metaverse as well? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> What would you sell for beverages in the metaverse? Milk. <laughs> oh, I, I, I should have thought about that. Milk, I'm a cow. What do you think I'd be selling? I want to have the the preeminent dairy destination in the metaverse. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, will it spoil? No, it's digital. It doesn't go bad. <laughs> what do you not know about this metaverse, Ella? <laughs> like, you're asking me if the grass is going to be tasty. It's digital. You ask me if the milk is going to spoil. It's digital. I mean, have you been there? <laughs> yeah, I've been there. But, you know, it has to have its own life form. Really? What type of life form? You know, something that has a personality more than Mitch? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, so, so, so you're going to have air tagging in the metaverse? Oh, uh, no. I don't think I can clear the, the copyright on that one. I'm going to have the meatless taco in the metaverse. No, I can't have the meatless tacos. I, I, I don't own the rights to that. Uh, how about the teal monster? Oh, I could do that. <laughs> I could have teal monsters everywhere. So you sort of walk in and then there's a teal monster. You have to sort of pivot. If you don't pivot, the teal monster like takes your bag and I make money off your bag and resell it. No, you can't be robbing people in the metaverse. They rob people in the real life. Why can't I rob people in the metaverse? <laughs> Sir, look, that's not the purpose of the metaverse. You need to reassess your approach to this. Okay, so you walk in and there's a teal monster. And if you can identify all the teal in the room and the color wheel, you win something. I like that. And then I charge you when you win. <laughs> You know, no, that's not how you do a contest. You don't charge people when you win. I got to work on this idea. I think you do. <laughs> but I like that you're thinking about it. So what else has been new now that you're out of the... <laughs> now that you escaped the metaverse? I'm trying to figure my place around. Have you seen that tweet? What tweet? There's so many tweets. Which tweet? There's a tweet by Joseph Biden yesterday. 
Oh, that tweet. I, yeah, I was, I was retweeting that tweet and talking a lot about it. Yeah, there was a tweet by Joseph Biden yesterday. He said, uh, and I'm a, I'm a cow, but I was confused. Joseph Biden tweeted yesterday that Americans have more money in their pockets today than they had in 2019 because of the American rescue plan. Yeah, I saw the tweet. <laughs> what do you think about the tweets? Or what? I think it's crazy. And I understand it. And I'm a cow. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a cow. I don't expect to know everything, but that doesn't make any sense. It's the American rescue plan. Why would you be better before I rescue you? <laughs> I rescued you to put you back to normal, but you're better off than when I was rescuing you. What is that? LA, I understand that. I understand that either. What is that, LA? Is that some reverse Gilligan's Island math? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It doesn't make any sense, uh, LA. I rescued you in 2021, and now you're better than when I rescued you. Uh, he's been borrowing Joe Larry Cuddle's calculator. I think he has, <laughs> Sir Lloyd. I think he has. Uh, Sir Lloyd, I mean, what do, you, what do you think about that tweet? I think it's ridiculous. No one's in a better place than they were in 2019, and certainly not because of the American Rescue Plan. That goes up there with that other tweet. What <laughs> other tweet? The tweet that said, you're going to have a great job to end the year because of the American uh, Infrastructure Bill. No one got a job for the Infrastructure Bill. I know it because I went applying. <laughs> You went applying for a job for the American Infrastructure Bill? Yeah, I mean, I destroyed the bridges. I walked over it on my heavy cow. So I thought maybe I can get a job back to restore back to normal. <laughs> and did you get the job? I did not. Wow. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of strange things happening. There is a lot of strange things happening. Have you seen this new recall? I have. I covered on this channel. And there's, you know, $40 billion of free job training. I love that. That's to say that you really hate your job. <laughs> Wait a second. The president just said, I put people back to work. I helped you get a job. I rescued you. And now he wants to give you money to find another job because you really hate your job. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of a, this is sort of a subtext to that language. $40 billion to job train because you really hate your job. And as president, I'm going to show you how much you hate your job. I'm going to show you a better job so you no longer hate your job. Uh, do, who do you think is going to take that, that free job training program? Maybe Joe Biden will take it. <laughs> Really? He just really doesn't like his job as president. He'll take the 40 jobs of free job training and go train for a new job. What will his new job be if he's not president? Head of Calcino Operations. Oh, Sir Lloyd, he's not going to come work for you. I pay really well, Sir Lloyd. You pay more than he gets as president. How much does he make as president? $400,000 a year? Oh, no, I don't pay that. <laughs> How much did you think he got as president? I thought he got $15 an hour. I mean, that's what he always talks about. The progressives won, you know, $15 an hour, $18. That's what he got. No, he gets $400,000 a year, Joe, uh, the president of the United States, Sir Lloyd. $400,000 a year? Well, that's not progressive salary. That's like, that's like Republican salary. <laughs> yes, they make a lot of money as politicians. And that's before the book deals and then the, then the library and then, you know, the book tours and then the... They do very, very well, Sir Lloyd. I think I should run for president. I don't think you'd win. Why not? Because you're a cow. You think we're not ready for a cow president? I think, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen other things, but I don't know if they're ready for, America's ready for a cow president. Is that some type of strange shade? No, it's just, are you trying to say that they're ready for a scarf president before a, a cow president? No, I'm not saying that. Yes, you are. You're trying to say they're ready for Javita Lay's president because she was head of SBA. I know I've not served a role in the government before, and she was head of SBA, but I've been a cow lobbyist. I, are you trying to say Javita Lake would be better as president than Sir Lloyd? No, I'm not saying that. I think viewers in the live chat right now should answer Sir Lloyd of your Javita Lake in the presidency. No, we're not doing this. We're, this is a debut of the show. We're not already causing turmoil. We always call it turmoil. That's what the show's about. Uh, what about Blaine 66 as, as, as the new president? Blaine 666? You, you know he's in the show now. No, I thought it was just Javita Lake and me back. You brought back, I thought Blaine 66 died of young death. No, he's back eating his ribs. Ribs? Pork ribs? No, beef ribs. <gasps> You're joking. No, I am joking. It's, it's beef. It's pork ribs. <laughs> Good. I could not imagine working for an employer that has me as a cow and another guest star <laughs> that eating pork ribs. Well, he's not a guest star. He's... LLA, please do not tell he me he's getting equal marquee on the on the marquee outside with with Sir Lloyd. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see how it rolls out. Oh boy, I need to advocate to Bernie on this one. 
<laughs> you're going to advocate to Bernie for your for your for your title credits in Casino. Yes, I need to contact Bernie to advocate and advocate that Sirloin gets a better role in Casino and to make sure that that uh, that Blaine Six Six is you know sort of made lesser on the totem pole, sort of like uh, Chris and Sinema. <laughs> Do you think Bernie will answer your phone calls? I hope he will. So it's very nice to have you back, Sir Lloyd. It is. So, but I have a couple of demands. Demands? <laughs> we just started a new series. You already have demands. I mean, it's just like, uh, are you ready to quit? Well, you know, the quitting rate is very high amount among Americans right now. Wait, Sir Lloyd, I just re-employed you. You're quitting already the show? <laughs> I have to have a series. Don't break down in tears. No, I'm not breaking down in tears. I'm just, you know, I'm a little bit for shimmel here because we're just for mished, for mished, for what is these words? I don't speak cow language. <laughs> you cannot quit, so are you going to unionize me? I'm not going to unionize you. You're a cow. Uh, are you going to give me better credits? Well, we'll figure out that. <laughs> are you going to fire Blaine Six Six? No, I'll just ensure that he eats pork ribs, not beef ribs. Okay, well, there's progress. There's progress. Well, we'll see if I join next episode, if there is a next episode. Certainly, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Are you going to join me in the metaverse? Oh, I might. Are you going in the metaverse? I am. And are you going to get lost? No, I'm not going to get lost. Why not? Because I'm going to have a map. <laughs> a map? There's a map in the metaverse? There's a map in the metaverse. Why did people not tell me this? Your cow, that's why I didn't tell you. When you go back in the metaverse, will you take me there? I will take you there, and the viewers as well. Well, thank you for joining me, Sir Lloyd, and I look forward to seeing you in the metaverse. And I look forward to seeing that map and a uh, higher salary next time. <laughs>
So you want lobsters in the week off. Um, do you want a side of sauce with that? <laughs> um, how would these lobsters work in the recall? Who would ship them out? Um, would it be a credit? Who would pay for the lobsters? Yeah, I do sound like a Republican, don't I? <laughs> I, I sound like Joe Manchin. Uh, lobsters? Who's going to pay for the lobsters? And how would the national f debt afford such lobsters? I don't know. Um, you know, it, 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 I, I am here to take phone calls for people advocating. We've received all these wonderful calls of advocacy here in Senator Santa's office. But I really appreciate that you are advocating. I got a phone call yesterday for someone advocating as well. Uh, who was that? <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you. It was Joe Manchin. <laughs> yeah, Joe Manchin called up Bernie's office here to advocate for coal to be included in the recall. Is coal coal? Not 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 coal like like J Cole the singer or the rapper. No coal K. <laughs> not coal with a K. K coal with a with a C. This is not a Kardashian show. C O A L. He wanted coal to be included because you know West Virginia they're trying to get rid of coal. The government's trying to get rid of coal. And I said I'll take I'll take care of that. I'll tell I'll, I'll tell Joe I'll tell uh, Bernie about that. But how are you been, Senator, Senator uh, McConnell? Really? Really? You like being number two. It's it's wonderful being number two. I mean, not everyone likes to be number two. Just ask um, a B.B. Harris. <laughs> you know, she's not doing really well doing being number two. Um, but it's it's nice being number two. You don't have a lot of responsibilities. You don't have to do much. Sort of like what you did before. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was funny, sort of funny. You don't find that? No, you don't find that? Oh, okay. Sorry. So you still eating chicken. You are eating chicken. I saw that report the other day where they said Senator McConnell had an office meeting about the debt ceiling limit and you didn't talk. All you do is eat chicken. Was that true? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Are you talking? Oh, I'm sorry. You were eating chicken. <laughs> Can you not eat chicken while we're talking? Because I have my meal here. I want to eat my meal as well. <laughs> but it's so nice to talk to you, Senator McConnell. So I will make a note. I will tell Bernie that you want to add reoccurring lobster provisions to the recall. I really appreciate for you to call it. And if you have other things to advocate, call back again. You have the number. <laughs> have a beautiful day, uh, Senator McCullough.